Hello ladies and gentlemen. In this video we're going to take a quick look at an example of how to transcribe and play a melody that you're familiar with but you're not exactly sure how to play it on the xylophone. And the melody that I have chosen is Whistle While You Work. Kind of written very sloppy here. And I'm going to create another video where this is a lot more clear and concise. But for this video it's just uh, you know sloppy rough draft, right? So remember the Whistle While Your Work song is from um, one of the great all-time Disney movies, The Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And a key and crucial element of learning any song or any melody of a song that you wish to play on your xylophone is knowing the general uh, parameters of that melody. So there's a couple different ways that you can um, sort of express that to yourself when it comes to any instrument, in particular a key xylophone. Okay, so um, the way I like to do it is to whistle it, right? But if you don't like to whistle, you can you can do the the dat or the do, right? Do 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 do. Right? That's the same, right? As long as you're modulating the pitch with all your do's and or the dats, d a t. Right? Da 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 Right? Or if you don't like any of that, you can even just hum it, you know, to yourself pleasantly, right? Right? And I'm sure there's a couple different ways that I'm not uh thinking of. But those are basically the main ways, so hopefully I'll use a little bit of each way in this video. Okay. So remember the uh, the general melody of the song goes. So that's repeating the same phrase twice, and then it does something different. Now um, the seven dwarves, the 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 exact nature of how Snow White sings it and whistles it, I'm pretty familiar with because I watched it with my. Uh, five-year-old niece about 10,000 times before the virus came and disrupted uh, everything. And um, also there's a, uh, a famous movie uh, called You Can't Take It With You where um, they're whistling it as well. So I kind of have a mixture of the two. And again, that's the cool thing about music is you can customize the melodies yourself, right? You can either add notes, subtract notes, right? play in a different pitch tone sequence, all those kind of wonderful things. That's, that's part of music too. So here we go. Let's try to find the right. So usually you start in the middle somewhere. So let's start here. Oh, let's do that. Whistle while you work. Okay, that's kind of kind of good. Let's move over one. A little bit darker pitch. Oh, that's getting close. Let's try it down here on the lower side. Ooh, that's pretty close. That's too that's too far. So we're too far dark over here, too far low pitch, too far upper pitch. So it's got to be in here somewhere. Yeah, maybe. Okay, I think I can eliminate that one. So it's between starting on the A and the G. Okay, so I suppose you could pick either one, and I uh, particularly enjoy starting on the G. So, whistle while you work, whistle while you work. So it goes, or I'll change it. Do, 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 da, 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 da. And then it goes, that's four, right? But it's up in pitch, so... That's pretty good up in pitch. Ooh, okay. So again, I'll just use this and I'll point out and let's see if it makes sense. So um, in your brain, uh, sort of sing the melody and then also watching the stick and see where it goes. So. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
right? It has a lower note for emphasis, right? So that passage, twice, then up in pitch, lower pitch, right? So there's a higher and a lower pitch on either side of that four key sequence. So, and then it kind of goes after that, and it goes, so it's a really, from this low note, it's back to an upper pitch that's slightly higher than this sequence here, right? So let's see what we can do. Oop. Okay, that's pretty good, but we're not sure again. Let's, let's go one key down. Maybe. Let's try another one. Start with the A. No, that's the that's the pitch uh, quality or the keys of the main melody, right? And is definitely lower than right. So it's got to be over here somewhere. So let's see. Okay, so I was, I was going towards the end there. So I'm not sure in, in my uh, sense of harmony and the, and the pitch tone value, it's either going to go or, so that'd be big blue C to small blue C, or it's got to be one of these two in my mind anyway. But again, don't be afraid to change your mind and explore different paths, right? Maybe if you add a couple of grace notes or something, you can start on a whole different key, and it still makes harmonic sense, right? Again, that's the wonderful thing about music as well. Okay, let me see how we're doing on time here. Okay, so let me see. We'll start on B, because I think that's what it is. So here we go. Let's go through it one more time. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. Ooh, so now I'm thinking of not even going up to the A at all. So instead of whistle away working into the A like we just discussed, now I'm thinking maybe I stay on the G. Let me try it again. Or let me try the other way with the A. So again, there's a choice that I have to make, right? So this is whistle while you work, whistle while you work, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the so G G F E D. All right, so the second line would be G G F E D, and then you can again hum it da 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 da. So let's see. So, the emphasis on the C. So I put do my little lines around there. Okay. So, so far we we got. Now we got to go up the pitch tone sequence again. Remember, or so I'm gonna stick with the beat. So. Da, 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 da. And then another C. Oh, let's let's make sure there's another C there. Oops. Yeah, there's another one. So there's the C there, and then it starts with a C. So the same pattern back and forth, just like we did here, only it's a higher pitch value. Da, 
that, 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 that. Oh. So da 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 I'm gonna go to another line. Da 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 So that's three times, right? One, two. Uh oh, now I'm kinda of lost in the melody. So let's go back to the beginning. So that's twice. Now here we are. So that's going to be three. Oop. So see, I almost messed up my trans, my um, transcription there. So I got to erase this line. So it's B A G E F. That's three. And then I'm, I'm probably going to embellish a little bit here and take uh, the liberty of a little embellishment. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yep. Gotta have my little gotta have my little custom part there. Oops, so how do we transition to? Because that's the gonna be the ending, right? Ooh, maybe that. So let's try it. No. Nope. Maybe I'll try a pause. Yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause instead of trying to slip in another note, which is what I really want to do. I'll just pause and then go back to. So here we go. Oops. Okay. So ding, ding, ding. And then pause. Maybe I'll just write this kind of like for a pause. That's my personal, you know, whatever whatever uh, icon you want to use for a pause. Perhaps P with a parenthesis or something. And then it's going to be back to the top. Whistle while you work. Whistle while you work. And then repeating this line here too. So you could just draw an arrow, right? Back to the top or something. Okay, so let's give it one last whirl here. Here we go. Okay, so I'll make, a, I'll make another video where this is a little more uh, clear and concise. And uh, again, that's kind of, in general, how you can figure out any melody. First you learn it, whistle it, do it, do 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 that do that <laughs> right? And then once you know the melody, you can hunt around for the pitch tone sequences, transcribe them, and then you'll be playing. Alright, have fun. Bye-bye.